Hey guys. So, um, first most, I apologize for the background noise because family. Um, so today I am going to talk about something called pharyngitis, and it's uh, what exactly it is. It's like something in the throat, and the reason why I decided to make a video about it is because I was diagnosed with pharyngitis during the weekend. So, here are my tips and tricks to, you know, help. So the first thing is, if you notice, um, hold on, get my notes. Um, like, definitely, the most common symptoms are like, sneezing, red nose, headaches, coughing, fatigue, body aches, chills, and a fever. But more, like, more advanced symptoms are, um, like, you're like, glands are like a little swollen like your lymph nodes um things like that so i got my i started developing mine about a week ago um so basically it's like you're having a lot of like sore throats <clears throat> sorry i just had to drink something to make sure my mouth didn't get too dry but um basically started developing like last week and yeah but yeah anyways like you have to be very careful like you can assume it's like a fever like a regular fever nothing much but you have to be very careful because it could be a virus or it could be bacterial and mine is a virus so um what i definitely recommend is that if you've been diagnosed with pharyngitis to definitely take things really easy like rest as much as you can like yeah you can continue a regular life but you have to be like very careful like if you feel tired just stop if you can um like take some medicine like take like um um ibuprofen and um i'm also taking these like uh what are they called they're like hold on so these are called longsane. I don't know. It's sepical exostrant. That's what I'm taking. It like helps um like relieve sore throat pain and it like numbs too, which is really good. Um so it's really good. And um of course I use open as I have in here. Um yeah. So depending how it is for you, medication will be distributed differently. Um, for me, um, every six hours, I have to take one of these and three ibuprofen because normally I take two and nothing really happens. So that's what I've been doing. And definitely I've been having a lot of tea to, um, help like soothe the pain for when I can't take any medication because you don't want to like, take it too often because then that's really dangerous. But yeah, so... Like, if you feel like anything's going on here, definitely always get it checked out because you never know. So, yeah. Um, I hope this was helpful, if you can call it that. But, yeah. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!